Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I would like to show you guys quick and easy how I do another complex retouching. I want to take this mustache from here from this person and move it all over to this side and apply it to this person's face. Alright, so let's get started with that. First of all what I've done already is open both of these images in Photoshop. What I want to do now is basically take this person's complete layer over here, so the complete image, and move that over to this image. So let's take our layer down here, hold shift as well, and then we're going to drop it directly on here. Why are we holding shift? So that it snaps directly to our canvas. Okay, so then we can go over here and just minimize this, and we're going to go over here, press F, and make that nice and full screen. Okay, so as you guys can also see over here we have the top layer, so I'm going to just rename that to layer 2. And we're going to double click on here and open that layer 1 and also enable our lock here. Okay, so now we've got layer 1 and layer 2. And first of all what I want to do now on layer 2 is take down all my opacity all the way. Just a little bit. Then I'm also going to press Z and just zoom in very closely over here. And first of all, what I want to do now is just with my move tool, I want to just move the mustache in a little bit better of a position over here so it's almost lined. I'm going to concentrate a little bit on the nose and see where that goes and also onto the lip features. Have a look. Okay, over here looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to take my opacity all the way up again and then I'm going to go over and take my lasso tool over here, just the normal lasso tool, just to do a quick rough selection around the beard. So I'm just going to paint around here and also a little bit through the lips and down here. And we're going to just combine that. Okay, so we have a rough selection on our layer 2 now. Then we're going to go over here to the new mask icon, select a mask and directly we have a hidden mask and everything that was selected is still visible as you guys can see. So now we're also going to align this a little bit better. Let me just zoom in a little bit more closer. Okay, first of all, I'm going to align this a little bit better down here. I'm going to have a look, maybe if I need to transform this. Not really. Pretty happy with this. Going to use my cursors left and right. Okay, maybe press Command T to just rotate that a little bit. Over here, and also a little bit more. And we're going to press Command T because obviously we have the full canvas now. And I'm just going to rotate that a little bit. Okay, enable that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer again, okay, and we can now again align this a little bit better. Okay, so that is basically our first stage, then we're also going to take the opacity down a little bit just to see if it's perfectly aligned. Yes, that looks about right. Okay, turn the opacity all the way up again and we're going to select our mask now, then we're going to select a brush again and also a white foreground color, swap the colors over here. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and also I want to soften my brush a little bit. Control Alt, don't have it as a hard edge, just soften that a little bit. Okay, and now we're first of all going to just paint out the person a little bit. Change your foreground colors again over here. We have to paint with black to paint out. Okay, so we're going to just paint back the lips a little bit over here as well at the top here. And I'm going to feather my brush actually a little bit more going to zoom in a little bit closer and also going to take my brush opacity at just 80% so I'm going to press 8 on my keyboard okay so now with a very small brush I can then again paint over here and just get the lips out a little bit and now I'm basically just painting out everything that is still on the beard from the mustache person and then later we're going to brush in a little bit of the mustache again Okay, so over here going to line it like that. This does take a little bit of a while. Going to press 100 opacity again, 100 here on my keyboard. And also then just going to brush out all these small hairs here that we don't want to add. Going to leave these long hairs over here. So a little bit more. And I'm just going to sit here now and brush a little bit out these areas. Okay, so now we've brushed out quite a lot here, then I also want to brush out just on the nose completely everything. So on the nose we have to be careful again, just over here very slowly around the nose. We're first of all going to cover out the nose. Okay, a little bit more, 
and a little bit more over here just to make a nice round shape then I'm going to take my opacity down again to say just 40% and now just with a really soft brush just really subtly painting over here so that that fades just a little bit better in okay making my brush a little bit bigger let me just quickly show you that's how my brush looks at the moment so it's not hard edge pretty much softened completely then also with the pen pressure sensitivity set on I can then I can actually turn it off so we can just paint really roughly over here okay so that those hairs shine through a little bit more okay and also turn my pen pressure sensitivity on again and now I'm going to just brush all of these areas out again with a complete hundred opacity Okay, so now I'm going to take my brush again to around 50 or 40 percent, 40 percent almost, and just really roughly with a soft brush going to paint over the edge here, just a little bit, just to break that edge a little bit. Okay, a little bit more, just to make this beard go a little bit lighter on the sides. Okay, the same over here, just make my brush a little bit smaller again and I'm going to fade over this once or twice, okay? Over here the same process and everywhere a little bit more. Also inside, going to brush a little bit over the beard here and inside the beard a little bit. So we're just lightening those parts a little bit. Okay, don't worry if you destroy too much of the beard, we're going to paint a little bit back those beard areas again. Okay, a little bit more here and there, okay. And we're also going to brush in here a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to go back a little bit, make my brush up and down a little bit bigger, smaller again. Okay, I'm obviously doing this really roughly now. Should take more time to do this. Okay, over here, then we, let's move to the other side and do the same effect on the other side as well. Also brush in a little bit between our hairs here. As I said, we should take more time to do this, not as quick as I'm doing now. Okay, we'll take out this here. I think it looks a bit weird. Okay, in between the hairs again, and also touch just a little bit up. Okay, zoom out a little bit, so we first of all have a look at the beard, and we can see that it completely looks fake over here and also here. So let's move in a bit closer again and just brush over here a little bit more so we're just lightening those areas here okay like that and over here make my brush a little bit bigger okay that was too much go a step back with your history panel over here and we're just going to brush a little bit okay leave it like that now next step that I still want to do is again create a new layer and brush a little bit of my own hair onto this layer but before I do that I want to give you guys a small explanation how I actually do this Okay, first of all, just going to create a new layer quickly. Then I'm going to change my foreground colors to black here and also take my opacity up to 100%. And then I change my brush size down to two pixels, one to two pixels to create some fake hair. So if I'm brushing some hair now, you will directly see I've also got my pen pressure sensitivity on. If I make my brush a little bit bigger again and just make a stroke over here, you will see that my end is quite hard and also just a really big faded out end but if I make small quick brush strokes over here you will see that my end is quite sharp and they look like small spikes at the end so if you have a look they're very sharp and with that you can create some really nice looking fake here but how to get your brush to work like this you will have to go here to the top and just select your brush settings over here go all the way to the shape dynamics and in shape dynamics change down your minimum diameter so over here if I turn that all the way up you'll see that our edges are still very round and hard but if we take that all the way down they get very sharp over here like a spike okay so with that we can actually now create fake hair on a separate layer just escape our brush settings over here again and we can now paint over here and create a few fake hairs
Okay, so we've done all of that now on a separate layer. Let's delete that separate layer and create another new layer so we can start again from fresh. Okay, so please switch over to lesson two now where we're going to continue with painting in some fake beard hair. Sorry for this, but otherwise the tutorials will just get way too long. Thank you guys and see you on the next quick video lesson.